YouTube, I'm back again. It's one year now that I've been natural and I'm really excited. I wanted to get on here and share with you. I've been trying a couple of new things in my regimen. Some things are still the same and some things are a little bit new, so I wanted to sort of do a quick review and just show you some of the things I'm using now. Um, Mother's time, she needs a rest. These are my shampoo and conditioner. These are from the Giovanni line. So basically, I was buying the Giovanni sh shampoo and conditioner pretty often because my whole family, we use it. So what was happening was we were, you know, I was going to the store like all the time, it seemed like. Um, so I went ahead and broke down. I went on to massagewarehouse.com. That's the, it's like, um, a supply company for massage supplies like towels and things like that but they also have the Chi line I mean the Giovanni line so this is their website information here um, so it's just massagewarehouse.com so I went on there and I believe I'm not sure which one the shampoo was $11.99 and I think the conditioner was $12.99 and um, and then shipping was about eight dollars so what I got is a liter of each one and I know that these are gonna last us for a really long time because the shampoo you really don't need to use a whole lot of it so um, this is how I shampoo I like this one because it doesn't have sulfates and then the conditioner it doesn't have silicones in it so I like that about it um, the Giovanni line in general kinda has a lot more natural ingredients um, but what I also like about their conditioner is it really helps me detangle in the shower. I use the Denman brush in the shower and I section my hair in four sections. So this is a really good detangler and I also use it as, um, since it's like deeper moisture you see on there, it has some protein in it. I also like to use it for some of my deep treatments. So I usually do a deep condition every Thursday so I do it like once a week or Friday depending on how the week's going and um, it's a really good deep conditioner and you can add stuff to it you can add olive oil or something else in there if you want to even add more to it to deep condition with so that's my shampoo and conditioner and then I do deep condition um, once a week at least once a week this week I'm going to be flat ironing my hair so I just deep conditioned the other day and I'm going to be deep conditioning right before I flat iron which is something I make a point to do to try and help protect my hair against any damage so the deep conditioning like I said I use the Giovanni smoothest silk deeper moisture and um, the Giovanni line is also available at like Walgreens and Walmart and stuff like that you just have to be sure to go into the area where they sell like the Burt's Bees and the Alba products it's going to be over there with all the natural stuff and then the other one that I've been using lately I've been trying this out it's the Pantene relaxed and natural it's the breakage defense deep conditioning mask I really like this this small jar was about $4.76 at Walmart and I like it whenever I use it um, I deep condition under a hooded dryer for about 40 minutes to an hour depends and whenever I'm done with this it leaves my hair really really soft um, the only thing about it it does have a, a moda methicone in it so it does have a silicone in it but a moda methicone I've been reading about that one dimethicone is a really heavy silicone but this one it's not actually soluble in water but there's something about when it combines with water um, it is a little bit lighter silicone but just remember if you are using conditioners that have silicones in them to have like a clarifier type shampoo um, something that does have sulfates in it that you use every once and again to help rinse out the silicones that are in the conditioners but otherwise this is I really like this um, I'm almost done with the jar and this is you can tell that's what it looks like and it smells really good it's like a fruity tropical kind of smell but so that's something else that I use for deep conditioning Mitchell, the conditioner leave-in conditioner by GBP and it was like $5.99 so I'm trying it as a leave-in conditioner it's um it's a lot like a creamier type leave-in 
and I like those over the spray leave-ins most of the time. Um, the reason why I picked this one up is for my wash and goes. I like to wear this under my um, Eco Styler. So right now I've I've only used it for the last week and a half, so jury's still out on this one. Otherwise, the Garnier Freak Tees, I've been using that still. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so the next one is the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In. Um, I really do like this product. It really smells good. At least my hair really soft if I use it for like a twist out. So what I'll do is I'll just wash and cleanse my hair and deep condition it. You know, whatever it is I'm doing on my wash night. And then when I'm all done, I can still put my coconut oil in. And it won't really make this um, turn white or anything like that. That's the only thing about this product is you can't really combine it with like gel or anything else. Once this is in your hair, that's pretty much it. So this one doesn't really define my hair enough to curl it. But if I go ahead and put this on as moisture while my hair is still damp, and then I'll go ahead and apply this, a generous amount, um, and then do a braid out or a twist out, um, I've really been happy with the results as far as twist outs and braid outs go. Um, but that would be the only thing that I don't like is that you really can't use too many other things with the product in your hair because like if I want to slip down my edges with Eco Styler, I'm just going to get all these flakes and white things in my hair. But otherwise, um, it makes your hair feel really soft and moisturized, or it does for me. Um, it's working for me right now. And for me, for twist outs, I did flat twist outs a lot. That's what this is right here. Um, because it was hard for me to get the individual two strand twist to stay in. But I notice when my hair is wet and I apply this and then I do the two strand they really tend to stay and they don't unravel as much so I like that about it so I usually get really good twist outs with this so this is one of my leave-ins and then the last one is by Affigy so I like to use this one if I know I'm going to be doing um, a roller set if I'm going to blow dry my hair at all and then if I'm going to be flat ironing so what I'll do is when my hair is wet I'll go ahead and um, put this on first. This is like one of the first things I want to put on because for some reason it kind of gives my hair a stiff feel. So what I'll do is I'll kind of put this on first or I might put it on after the coconut oil depending on what I'm doing that night and then I'll put leave-in conditioner on top of that. Um, so then I still end up with like a soft, I can comb through sort of thing. But before what I was doing was putting leave-in, then spraying this and then it was just kind of giving me like this stiff feeling. But basically what it is is the keratin and green tea restructurizer. Restructurizer. And it's got protein. Um, a lot of the Affigy products do. So basically what it is is it says that it's um, helping to protect your hair from heat. Um, it has precise levels of protein for strength um, to repair and protect your hair. So I really like just having that little bit of extra insurance when I'm doing a flat iron or sitting under the dryer for a long time. So, and then this is sort of something like supposedly once the heat hits your hair, it sort of activates this product to infuse a little bit more protein. So I guess it works a little bit like cheese silk infusion. So, um, and I've been using this. This is probably my third or fourth bottle on this one. So that's my leave-in. Father wears his Sunday best